Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edward, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a skater on crack. Now, this cocktail itself is a variation of the surfer on acid, but this cocktail was created by Sherwood Suzukara. Now, having said that, there are a lot of similarities, and the surfer on acid itself was technically a shot before it was turned into a cocktail. So, let's get started. So, grab yourself your shaking glass and then a knife because you need some lime. And what we'll do is we will cut this in half and squeeze three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters into the glass. Our second ingredient is a one-to-one -one simple syrup, meaning it is one part water, one part sugar, heat it up until it goes clear, throw it in a fridge for later use. However, what we need is the same amount of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Now our next ingredient is pineapple juice. Now I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice, meaning that there's no sugar added and no extra coloring or anything like that. If you have fresh pineapple juice, fantastic, go for it. But this is sort of your next best thing. And we're going to use a total of one ounce or 30 milliliters. Now our next ingredient is rum. And this is where you wanna use your favorite rum. In this case, I'm going to use Smith & Cross. It's a little bit overproof at 57%. And you know what? It's got all those Jamaican funky smells, those banana that just kick and that good hunk of ethanol that you're gonna get that just goes right to the back of your tongue and your mouth. And we'll use one ounce or 30 mils. Our next ingredient is a German aperitif. And everybody knows it as Jägermeister, the fantastic party favorite. However, having said that, this will give us a lot of those herbal notes that we're looking for that will blend fantastically with the rum and our citrus fruits. And we're going to use one ounce or 30 mils. Our next step in the process is to shake this with some ice. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your glass and you wanna fill it all the way almost to the top because you wanna be able to get a good chill and dilution. And we wanna make sure that we shake this for probably 10, 15 seconds to get it exactly where you want. So slap that down, make sure it's good, not like that was, because I don't wanna drop it. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. All right, so what you wanna do is pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes, put it off to the side and grab yourself your glass of choice. Now in this case, I'm using a rocks glass. I'm actually using a double rocks glass. And what we'll do is we'll just fill it up to the top. Uh, and like I said, it doesn't really matter what I said, actually, truth be told, you just enjoy your cocktail, throw your Hawthorne strainer on there and pour it on top. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Grab yourself a lemon wedge, throw it on top like there, and here you go, your skater on crack. Let's try it out. Oh, really good. You would think the overproofness of the rum actually would come through, but it doesn't. You get those funky banana notes, you get a little bit of lime and pineapple, and you definitely get some of those herbal notes. It is very well blended. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.